Dwayne drove 18 miles to the airport to pick up his father and then returned home. On the return trip, he was able to drive an average of 15 miles an hour faster than he did on the trip there. If the total driving time was one hour, then what was his average speed driving to the airport? Well, let's begin by identifying our variable. Here we'll let x represent the average speed driving to the airport. Now I recognize this as a distance problem, so let's organize our data in a chart. Distance equals rate times time, and we have a trip to the airport and a return trip. The first thing we notice is that Dwayne drove 18 miles to the airport and then 18 miles back. We could put 18 here in the distance column. Since x represents the average speed driving to the airport, we'll replace that here in for r under the trip to the airport. Now on the return trip, he was able to average 15 miles an hour faster. So for the rate here on the return trip, we can write x plus 15. Now we don't know how long it took to drive to the airport, nor do we know how long it took to drive home. But it does say the total driving time was one hour. So we'll put that here under the total. Now we know distance equals rate times time. If we divide both sides by the rate r, we can come up with an equivalent formula, distance over rate equals time. Now we can use this to fill in the blanks in the time column. If we take the distance driving to the airport divided by the rate, well that'll be the time. So we could fill this in with 18 over x. Now we can do the same thing for the return trip. 18 over x plus 15. The time column here defines the algebraic setup. The time it takes to drive to the airport and the time it takes to return home, well, the total trip was one hour. So we can write 18 over x plus 18 over x plus 15 equals the total driving time, one hour. So here we have a rational equation, which we could solve for x, the average speed driving to the airport. Let's begin by identifying the LCD. Here the LCD is x times x plus 15. Also, we have restrictions. Zero is a restriction, and negative 15 is as well. We begin by multiplying both sides by the LCD, which we know is equivalent to multiplying each term by the LCD. Doing this here, x cancels, and we're left with 18 times x plus 15, plus x plus 15 cancels, so plus 18x equals x times x plus 15. Multiplying both sides by the LCD clears the fractions. Now distributing, we have 18x plus 270 plus 18x equals x squared plus 15x. 18x plus 18x is 36x plus 270 equals x squared plus 15x. To obtain standard form equal to zero, we subtract 36x on both sides and also subtract 270. That'll leave us with zero equals x squared, 15x minus 36x is negative 21x minus 270. Factoring we have 
Well, x squared factors x times x. And 270 factors 30 times 9. So we could write x minus 30 times x plus 9. Negative 30 times positive 9 is negative 270. And negative 30x plus 9x is negative 21x. We then set each factor equal to 0. So x minus 30 equals 0 or x plus 9 equals 0. Here if we add 30 to both sides we have x equals 30. Subtracting 9 on both sides we also have x equals negative 9. Now remember x represents the speed, the average speed driving to the airport. So we'll disregard the negative answer. And we'll consider x equal to 30, or 30 miles an hour, to be the only solution.